We're going to turn next tonight to a horrifying piece of video just released by authorities in Albuquerque, New Mexico. From impersonator cops to hitmen and drug dealers, these foolish criminals messed with the wrong undercover agents. Today, we will look at the antics of these criminals and how they got busted. Undercover cops pulled over by an impersonator. A fake teen cop impersonator had been impersonating a sheriff and pulling over vehicles for a long time. He pulled over people and had them pay him a fine for unknown stupid reasons. His plan was great and he was making easy money until one day his luck decided to betray him and he pulled over an actual cop. Who you work for? Really, can I sure talk? Oh, okay. I, I know, I'm under-equipped. Okay, do you have an ID with you? I mean, this is, this is all I got. I mean, like I said, I'm under, I'm under-equipped. I was just heading over there to the courthouse. To the courthouse for what? To get my crap. The honest cop, aware of the teen's deception, kept following his flow and acted like he had believed the fake cop. The honest cop asked him for his designation and office and even asked him for his badge. This looks really bad. Uh, this screams whacker. How long you been on? About three years. Okay. I've been on for like 13 years. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but you need to be a little bit more careful, all right? There... So just do me a favor, hang tight for a second, okay? At this point, the fake cop realizes who he is messing with and tries to escape the situation. But the honest cop has another shocking plan. He acts as if he is letting the fake cop go, but instead, he brings in the real cop from that area, and both discuss the matter between themselves. The phony cop had also realized that he had messed up and tried to come clean by telling the real cop that he wasn't an actual cop, but it was already too late. <laughs> so I need you to lean back a little bit. Please call my wife. I'll give you, um, we'll give, when we get to the substation, I'll give you, um, we'll give her a call, okay? He was arrested for impersonating a police officer and was taken to jail. He then received one year of probation and was prohibited from carrying any arm or handcuffs. The luxury watch thieves. This incident is a fantastic mission of an undercover cop who had the target to catch the ruthless gangs who have targeted victims like Amir Khan. The cop wears a luxury watch to attract the attention of these gang members. Their reports stated that the targeted victims were always leaving nightclubs and pubs, most of them in a drunk and defenseless state. The same happened again as the suspects approached the undercover agent and asked to take him to a brothel. After taking him to a quiet place, they called up their gang to rob him. Unfortunately, other police teams suddenly appeared out of nowhere and apprehended the suspects and eventually arresting them. These operations continued from October to December 22 and March to October 23, resulting in 31 arrests and 27 successful charges, leading to 21 convictions to this date. Off-duty cop, gets in shootout. On August 24, a burglary suspect named Jason Bowles was seen suspiciously walking around a house. The house was owned by a cop who noticed that Bowles was suspiciously circling his house. For some reason, the suspect came in front of his house to check whether someone was home or not. The officer was already aware of his intentions and called 911 and informed them about Bowles. 911. Yeah, this is, I want to report a possible burglary, uh, burglar suspect, he's going in and out of houses. Okay, where at? It's at 113 Andretti. Is that where he currently is inside? At first, the police officer was going to wait for 911 to arrive, but when Jason Bowles went to his car and retrieved his handgun, the cop knew he had to take matters into his own hands now. How's that? The once peaceful morning was then replaced with gunshots fired by the cop and Jason to each other. There was a considerable shootout, 
and Jason was declared injured in the first shootout, and later, when 9-1 arrived, Jason was declared expired. Drug dealer gets busted. Please, get on the ground! Get on the ground, please! Hey, don't move, don't move, please! Get out here! In April 22, 2022, a confidential informant, CI, uncovered agent arranged to purchase methamphetamine from a man in La Crosse, Wisconsin, for an amount of $400. This mission was specially assigned to these officers to trap these drug dealers and bring justice to the light. Why? Get on the ground! Why? Get on the ground! Uh, uh, uh. Please! You're under arrest! Why? Police department, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Don't move! Let me see your hands! 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 Put your hands behind your back! Don't move! Two cops were in contact with each other, where one went inside the car of the suspect named Matthew to buy the drugs, and the other one stayed a bit farther as backup. At first, the deal went great, and the undercover cop got the evidence of this dealing, but things soon started to get south. After the exchange, the man became suspicious about the transaction and accused the informant of setting him up. They initially had the plan to take the money and things from the cop, but his unfortunate luck was that the other party was a cop. I know you're going to find no strong evidence, so... Matthew was then charged with a felony of making and delivering drugs and false imprisonment. Impersonating a cop. Impersonating someone is considered a serious crime, depending on the identity and context of the impersonation. However, impersonating a cop in daylight is considered a heavy crime as it comes with other rules and law breaking. Hey, partner. Hi. Hey, I'm Officer Park with Accra Police Department. How are you? Uh, the only reason why I'm pulling you over, uh, I guess y'all were, well, that's my chief of police right there. He saw y'all go around traffic. He was trying to figure out who, who y'all are with or what was going on. Yeah, I work, I'm off duty hero operator. Oh, off duty yeah. hero operator? How you doing, chief? Hey. I was, I'm off duty operator. I just was working off for your lead tail. That's my ID. Uh -huh. That's my badge. Do you have a, do you have a lighting permit for the vehicle? Yeah, right down the glass. Okay. Given with all the light and permit and stuff that I'm seeing, I'm just going to assume everything's properly permitted and stuff for the vehicle. It is, sir. Uh, that said, with what my chief's observation, you know, the use of those are for strictly business purposes. You no, can't right. you can't be using it to pull into traffic, okay? Yes, sir. So I am going to issue a citation for unlawful, unlawful operation for emergency vehicle, okay? Just, just here. Just I know, let me just me. talk to chief real quick before, because I'm telling you how it's going to work. Even though I'm doing this on my private side, once I get this ticket, G Dot is gonna grind me again. I'm gonna get grinded. And I trying to that's why I trying to don't interfere my personal business with G Dot. Anytime they run up driver's license number, I'm gonna get grinded. I'm pleased. I asked the chief, please. The impersonating man initially tried to argue that he was an actual cop. Eventually, Mackey was cited for unlawful operations of an emergency vehicle and arrested two days later on a felony charge of impersonating a public officer. The wrong cops outside a bar. Another example of keeping your temper under control when facing a cope comes out when a young man, Stephen, was reported to the police for his aggressive behavior. Upon arriving at the scene, the cops found Stephen agitated. Tell you! When they tried to calm the situation, Stephen started storming at them. Given his behavior, it looked clear that he was under the influence of some substance. Hell no, bro! I want my money back! Before I want my money back! Stop touching me! Hey, why are you talking to me? Stop. I didn't my touch you. Is a, Stay right here. My kids are a Chicago police officer. Okay, that's crazy. Get out of my face. Back off. Y'all touch me. Stephen didn't respect the cops and started to become aggressive with them, ultimately resulting in him getting arrested and getting charged with disorderly conduct, controlled substance and criminal property damage. You could say he had a rough night and his luck just had to make him bump into a cop. Woman looking to hire a hitman. 
A horrifying case came to light when a woman aged 33, Tara Lambert, was suspected of plotting to take down her husband's ex-girlfriend. And that's the first thing that comes out of her mouth. It's not hurt her, it's not, you know, injure her, it is throw her in a wood chopper. <laughs> I don't carry a lumberjack chopper. But... No, I'm just kidding, like, that's how much I hate her, though. Um, I don't know, whatever you... You want me to just walk up and cap her? I don't know. She was recorded after meeting a supposed hitman who was an undercover cop. She was later charged with conspiracy to commit a crime. Undercover cop catches a bike thief red-handed. Another case about an undercover agent was brought to light when an officer had to go undercover to catch a bike thief. Undercover with the bike, you guys have my signal good? That's affirmative. There were reports of stolen bikes, and to solve this problem, the cops came up with the idea of going undercover and acting like ordinary citizens to observe and catch the bike thief red-handed. That guy in the uh, gray shirt and the green shorts looked right at the bike and passed it twice. Latin male, blue t-shirt, he just cut the lock. Here we go, here we go. On the move, on the move. He's got it. But compared to all the other cases, this one has to be the lightest, where the cop had to go undercover and catch a thief. The live streamer gets a taste of his actions. Send the fucking cops. There's a gun to my head. Help, help, get them. Another incident marks its place in the list when another internet sensation, Fousey Tube, thinks it would be funny to joke around with the cops. He may have expected the cops to show up and laugh about his idea of making himself viral. I'm in a hotel room, nobody knows my location. He called my hotel room number on his own. You know if he was on his way right now and he had a gun, I would be dead and he would still be asking me questions. Send the fucking cops. Send the cops. There's a gun to my head right now. There's a gun to my head. Help, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, he left. Ma'am, he left. There's a gun to my head. Help, help, get them. Help, bye. Ma'am, intercontinental, what's my room number? Help, tell me, 2027. He had always been a part of controversies, but what threw him off was his criminal stunt of calling the police upon himself. So this guy was on a live stream when the police barged into his room. So listen, this guy calls my room right now. I'm chilling. I'm getting my room ready. I have a girl coming over. Oh, okay. And he, look, you guys don't even seem like you're serious about this. Are you guys going to do anything? We're recording. That's what I'm recording. What are you guys doing? Are you going to arrest him? Why isn't their cars out looking for him right now? I have his address. Where's his address? Yo, where's the security? Get yeah, my security in here, please. You guys are just standing there doing nothing with your hands out? This is Miami Dade Police? Yo, what are you talking about? I'm being serious. My life's in danger and you're sitting here staring at me. Why does nobody work hard in this world? Come out. Why am I the only one? You're out? You're not going to protect me? You're on camera, you fuck. What is it? Hey, chill out. I'm story. Tell me a story. Dog, I'm live streaming. I'm the most famous guy on the internet right now. Okay, cool. A guy calls my, he calls my mom yesterday and says I'm going to slit your throat. He calls to my mom. Okay. No, my mom's throat. Okay. He calls my room today. Hi, it's me again. Remember me? I literally told him if I see you, I'm sticking a knife nine inches in your neck and I'm slatting it down your penis. He gave me his address. Upon their investigation, they found out that it was just a prank the guy was pulling and wanted to get famous on the internet by showing how he could prank the cops into thinking he needed help. You guys are dumb as fuck, man. You guys are literally dumb as fuck. Oh, hey, record this. Security, come in here now. Yo, for my protection, come in here. He can't come in? Y'all are fucked. I'm suing all y'all. My life is in danger and you arrest a Palestinian Muslim who's viral? Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? Do you like your job? You're fucked. Hey! He was then detained by the police and they took him with them to the police station an attempt to rob a barber's shop. Unlucky days can be standard for anyone, but this guy had the worst luck when he tried to rob a barber's shop. There was a police officer already in the barber's shop getting a haircut when the robber came in and started to threaten everyone. Screwdriver Stabber. Another terrifying case was reported to the police about a Mexican beard man who was seen to be walking around and stabbing others with a screwdriver. 
the woman quickly reported it to 911. The man then was traced to be walking to another block, where he was seen to try and stab another man on the street. Hey, watch crossfire. Hey, don't come towards me. Hey, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Hey, back up, get on the ground. Hey, sir, move, move. Hey, get on the ground. The police then had to arrive and were successfully able to detain the man who was assaulting and stabbing people with a screwdriver. Get it up now. 40 now. 40 now. 40 now. Do it. Don't do it. Lay on your face. Okay. Lay face down. Here, you know what? Drag him out. Drag him out. Drag him out. Face down. Let's get that close on. The other Watch one. it. Get him. Got him. Okay. Yeah, look. The drunk influencer girl. On July 21st, the famous TikTok star Amanda Caravalla was involved in a road incident where the cops approached her car, only to find Amanda passed out in her car. Wake up! Put it in park! Put it in park! Police department, put the car in park! Ma'am, open the door. Open the door. Open the door. It was obvious as a day that she was heavily drunk, as she had a dazed look on her face. They brought her out of her car to check some basic tests. How much have you had to drink tonight? Look at me. Hello. Hello. Do you know where you're at? Where are you? Do you know where you're at? Yeah, I'm looking at the cop cars that are... I want Michigan State Police, Mike Davis. I want him here. Okay. Well, I want you to take my test right now. Yeah, I'm looking at your finger. Oh, you gotta keep your head still. Just keep your head still. All right. Where have you used around? Put your hands on your back. Or you're under arrest for whatever you are right I'm now. under arrest for having a Michigan State Trooper coming here. No, nope. you're under arrest for You are time. under arrest for hitting my car and being extremely intoxicated while driving. We don't even know where you're at right now. And you're she was then taken to a police station where she started to sober up and started to resist the procedures and refused to give the breath test to the cops. Will you take my breath test? Yes. Okay. All right. Missy, she said no, yes. No, I like to go to the you want a blood drop? Or do you want to... Here's the deal. If, no. you, if you take this breath test here, you can get out whatever your number is because we have a chart. You refuse, I'm going to take your license, add six points to it, and they're going to take your blood. Is that what you want? So you can send them to a blood drop? Yes. Okay, awesome. She was then assisted to a hospital to get her blood test to check the presence of alcohol in her body. But she refused to give any test until her lawyer was there and started to blame back the cops. She was later dealt with and charged with a DUI charge, six days of community service, and 12 months of probation. Aggressive man getting confronted by the police. Another report where a man was reported to be doing criminal activities and assaulting his neighbors was reported to the police and the dispatch team hurried over to the location. Come on, 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 the man was seen to be simply not affected by the presence of the police. The cops tried negotiating with the man, but the man was getting more agitated. When the cops tried to reach him, he lunged forward with a metal bar. He ended up getting hit and tackled by the police, resulting in getting arrested by the cops for assault and trying to attack the cops. fighting the cops during Dewey arrest. The cops were reported by the neighbors about an 18-year-old teenager using drugs in the broad daylight near the road. When the cops pulled over her and asked her to come out, she slurred her speech 
and was clearly under the influence of drugs. How's it going today? Just yeah. What kind of errands you running? You know, grocery shopping, killing bills, just adult, adult things. Yeah. So where were you coming from? If we're being honest, I am um, on the way to pick up on my friend and because like I don't like doing things by myself because I have anxiety. So I like people coming on rides with me. Do you have a prescription for Xanax bars? No? Have you taken any? Right. The cops then subdue her and search for the car and find a remaining drug just on the front seat along with the girl's ID. She was then questioned multiple questions, but she couldn't answer them correctly and ultimately she was arrested. Stretch your legs for me. Face the car. Stretch your legs. Adding fuel to the fire, this teenager started to pick a fight with the cops, resulting in her punishment exceeding what she was normally going to get. intentionally smashing the cop's car. On April 2023, a case was reported about two individuals who had violated their probation rule. The suspects involved Jennifer and another man who were prohibited from meeting each other, but their meeting violated their probation period. Now, police were dispatched to them, tracking Jennifer's location and finding her in the car. Hello. Hi. Jen? Yeah. So, I want to talk to you. Were you, where were you at tonight? Uh, my sister. Your sister's? Where does she live at? Your name got brought up and so I just want to talk to you. Yeah, When's the last time? Okay. When's the last time you seen Josh? Uh, I don't know. His name got brought up and so I'm just trying to wrap my head around. I have very little limited information so I'm just trying to see. I mean, clearly he's not here. <laughs> okay. So you, you haven't seen him no. recently? Okay. Alrighty, hang tight for me. I'm trying to figure us out some more information, all right? Okay. The police calmly questioned her at first, but after continuously lying when the police attempted to detain her and ask her to get out of the car, she intentionally started the car, almost crushing the cop's feet underneath, and smashed her car in the cop's car, and then drove off. Why don't you step out of the car? You're going to be detained until we figure out what's going on. So you're going to leave your phone in here, though. No. I yep, no. Nope. That's an officer safety issue. You're not getting your phone in a squad. Um, I'm not going in a squad, for one. 25, she's taking off. Hit a car. She just smoked our squad. She's taking off. Get out of the car now! <laughs> taking off, 1080. After a long cat and mouse chase, Jennifer drove her car into a field near the road and surrendered. Keep moving, keep moving. Stop, go down to your knees. Cross your ankles. All the way to your belly. I'm sorry. All the way, All the way down. I would like to uh, back. She was then taken into custody and her case proceeded with her getting charges like vehicle fleeing, second degree, recklessly endangering the safety and bail jumping. She was also charged a $7,500 fine for crashing the cop's car. That does it for this video. Which one of these was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more thrilling tales from the world of crime and justice. Until next time, stay safe and stay vigilant.